very fulfilling. I surprised myself in a way. So then we're going to say the character and then we train the machine learning. So depend of the wing direction. Different portals will open. Creating a prototype that's not only functional but usable and delightful. So our project started, uh, we knew we had to use a machine learning uh, element. I never done anything with coding before or robotics, so it was quite interesting being able to learn that, especially when incorporating AI to humanize um, what we already perceive as robots. I had to do a lot of like reading up on documentation, a lot of troubleshooting here and there, a lot of trial and error, it's a lot of trying and testing. Right? So we went through about four iterations before we achieved this final design. There were a lot of discussions about materials, different components that we could get in short time, working with the resources that we had available, uh, and being able to adapt to those challenges in order to deliver on something that we had initially proposed. It's too noisy. A revolutionary device that will make your tube journey all the more pleasant and relaxing and you won't have to worry about noise or temperature anymore. <laughs> so basically it's to learn Chinese characters. So then we're going to say the character and then we train the machine learning to the model to identify it. And then we can see how the hut is going to deform its shape to be more aerodynamic and resistant. As the center shaft turns, the magnetic field that's read by the two sensors changes. It's Mirrorbot, it's a kinetic sculpture that responds and mirrors your emotions to hold you accountable. So as soon as the hand gesture moves, the sculpture will move along with the different hand gestures. The, the idea is basically if you try and approach to take the jewelry away from the plant, then it, it closes and stops your technique. When you say, uh, Boxy, give me a sweet, Boxy will give you a sweet. As you're looking at this display, it'll um, change based on how you interact with it. If you say, I love you, or you are good, you then are good. the pot flashes green a few times and gives the plant a grow light and waters the plant. So basically with um, a regular image input, we analysis it's, uh, that information with the algorithm, and then we produce uh, different rasterized styles in processing. The main idea is to capture signals from the plant. I think one of the biggest learning curves from this project was not only how to work effectively with people from different disciplines, but also how to create a proposal utilizing machine learning and Arduinos and topics that we're not necessarily comfortable with, and then in turn creating a prototype that's not only functional, but usable and delightful. We're learning lots from, from here about sort of the whole design process and how to really get into the, the ideas and the ideation process and improve sort of the overall concept. Actual challenge really helped me think about how you keep iterating and trying to get to your final vision, even though lots of things, production, technology fails, like you have to keep going. 